Dolphins come back, especially with this play right here. 33 seconds to go in the second quarter. Ravens up 21 to 7. And the Dolphins are playing man coverage. At the bottom, you can see three Raven receivers right here. Three defenders. Up top, two Raven receivers, two defenders. With a spy in the middle and a free safety at the goal line. And right here, Demarcus Robinson, number 10, runs this little out and in cut. And the Dolphins don't cover him. And just like that, Lamar Jackson Ravens, just before half, went up 28-7. to It seemed improbable. There was a party. They were striking up the band. They were picking up the hymn books at halftime. And then the Dolphins started the second half with the ball. And they came right down the field. And on third down right here, third and 13, Mike Gesicki is in the slot. He went to the back of the end zone here. And Tua, with time, throws it up to the goalpost. And Gesicki, who was a great high school volleyball player with over 40-inch vertical leap, went high to get it. And the Ravens, they dropped the defender here. They only rushed two. So Tua had all kinds of time right here. Great job on the left side, double teaming on the right side. Tua had all kinds of time to find his tight end. And he threw it up right next to the crossbar. And Mike Gesicki went up high to get it. And the Dolphins cut the lead to 28-14. to And you thought, well, maybe, just maybe a comeback could come. Except on the next series, Lamar did this on third and two at the end of the third quarter. They faked it, and then he ran it. And his longest run of his career ran away from all 11 defenders, including Xavier Howard, who made a just a stab at the end to trip Lamar up. He went 79 yards and somersaulted into the end zone. And to the end, right there of the third quarter, the Ravens were up 35-14. to 14. It seemed improbable, except that just like that, watch this here, right? The final play of the third quarter. Jalen Waddle in the middle here. He's going to run right to the middle of this defense. Nobody covers him. You can see him all alone in the middle. And Tua hit him for 33 yards, and they got a big chunk. And then this, third and two. No Tyree kill. He's got cramps on the sideline. So in his place is River Craycraft, who came with Mike McDaniel from San Francisco. And outside of him is Trent Sherfield. And right here, Tua is looking hard to Waddle. He doesn't see him. But watch Craycraft here. Once he runs his little arrow route, he never stops coming. And the Ravens couldn't cover him across the field. And Tua flipped another touchdown pass, his third of the day. And they kept it close, 35-21. And then four and a half minutes later, on the fifth play of the drive, that's the cheetah at the bottom. Nobody runs like the cheetah. He ran right by Marcus Peters. And Kyle Hamilton, the rookie, had no idea what he was doing. And just like that, Tua lofted it up there. 48 yards later, the cheetah was dancing in the end zone and it was 35-28. Let's just look at the protection here because on this play, they're gonna overload the pressure here, right? They're gonna come two to the side right here. And Tua just calmly steps to his to his right and he launches the bomb, 55 yards in the air. Tyreek gets behind the defense, 35-28. Here comes the Dolphins, right? And then this, the defense need to help. Like on this play here, second and 12, the defense needed to stop. They went to their blitz zero look. The same look that gave the Ravens all kinds of problems last year on Thursday night. Who's coming? Who's not coming? Well, they drop out. And right there, Xavier Howard thought he had a pick six. He can't believe it. Ten interceptions last year. He's doing somersaults and push-ups and everything else for dropping that out route to Rashad Bateman. And then on third and 12, the next play, they got a three and out right here. And on this play right here, all they did was they chased Lamar. And they had Isaiah Likely, the rookie, from Coastal Carolina, wide open in the middle of the field, and he dropped it. The Dolphins needed a little bit of luck, and the rookie dropped the pass. And you know what Mike McDaniel was yelling on the sideline? Punt team! Punt team! Punt return team! And that's what they did. They got the ball back. And on the third play, on third and six, Cheetah decided to work the other side of the field. Ran right by the rookie, Jalen Lamore Davis. I don't know what the Ravens were thinking. But he went 60 yards into the end zone to tie up the score. And here's the 60-yarder right here. Calais Campbell, 93, right in the face of Tua. Undeterred, unfazed, throwing the long bomb to the cheetah. All right, now you've got a tie score. The Ravens went down to kick the field goal. So then, with two minutes to go, down 38-35, here comes Mike Gesicki in motion. And they're going to blitz Patrick Queen right up the middle here. He's got a free run right at Tua. But he throws his ball in the middle of the field. Look at this acrobatic catch by Tyreek Hill for 21 yards. And then, you know, they rebuilt the running game. It's Chase Edmonds, 
to the right right there of Tua. They're all pointing to the outside. They see this outside blitz coming. Tua changes the play. He says, I got this. We're going to run inside zone here away from the pressure. Inside zone away from the pressure. And the line does a great job. Robert Hunt does a good job. Kasicki seals. And there goes Chase Edmonds for 28 yards. Under 30 seconds to go in the game. Dolphins down. 38-35. They were faced right here. Second and goal at the seven. That's Jalen Waddle in motion. The rookie, Amor Davis, is in coverage on him. The Ravens only rush three. Tua has time. Steps up and flips it high to Jalen Waddle. Coming down for the sixth touchdown catch of the day. Sixth touchdown throw by Tua. The celebration was on. And here's Tua. Sixth touchdown pass of the day. Threw for 469 yards, including the game winner to Jalen Waddle. Beautiful throw. Waddle went high up, took it away from the defender. And just like that, the Dolphins with their biggest comeback, what, in history? Who knows? But they were celebrating at Raven Stadium like never before. And Tua, can we just stop all of the nonsense and the talk about Tua? Six touchdown passes on the day. Dan Marino was there. He never did that in his career. 